So we have two things going on on this slide here. We have something called social loafing and we have something called collective efficacy. So sort of two ends of one spectrum. On collective efficacy side, on your right side here, we're talking about feeling good about the group. So as a group, we actually think that we are doing pretty well. So it's our perception of our ability to successfully perform well, to be effective and to meet our goals. So we feel good about being a team. So we are influenced by things such as watching other groups. Can they do that? We can certainly do it. Uh, verbal persuasion. Oh, I feel that we are such a good group. We can meet our goals. We're convincing, persuading each other. And also how we feel about the team. If we feel good about who we are, who's on the team and the team, we feel that we can do anything. We're a good group. We can do this. This is collective efficacy. On the other side of the spectrum, you have social loafing here on the left side. So social loafing is the tendency of individuals to put in less effort when they are in a group context. So when you're working in a group context, the more individuals you have, the more people on the team, the less effort each individual puts forward. So that's slacking, you know, taking time off, social loafing. So this is... Uh, this was observed by a French um, engineer. His name was Max Ringelmann in 1913. He was looking at people pulling on ropes. It was rope pulling contests. And he noticed that the more people piled on to pull on the rope, the um, less each individual would pull on the rope uh, to contribute towards winning. So this is the social loafing. Uh, it's influenced by the fact that we think that uh, in a bigger group, we get less of the rewards if there are any rewards at the end. And also, if something goes wrong, we get less of the blame. So we are just spreading the rewards, we're spreading the blame, so nobody really wants to take responsibility and accountability. So if others are not pulling their weight, why should I?